guys, Kelsey Herber here with our brand new series entitled Celebration. So this is gonna be a fun one. In this exact moment, I want you to pull out your phone, I want you to scroll through your photos, and I want you to find some of your best celebration photos. And I want to have you show those to the people around you. And I wanna share with you a few of mine. These are photos of celebrating my son's birthday, winning the state championship, getting my dream job, my wedding day, coaching, telling my team I was pregnant. And I think there's something so special about photos that capture a moment of celebration. You can feel the excitement exuding from the people in the photos. So you might be wondering, why are we talking about celebration? And it's a valid question. The reason is because we are called by God to celebrate. And we might hear that and think, huh? You know, we know that we're called to read the Bible and to pray. We know that we're called to serve and spread the gospel, but we don't always think about being called to celebrate. But in fact, that's interwoven throughout scripture. Psalm 118.24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Philippians 4.4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 and 4 says, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Now, I want to give an important disclaimer. I am not saying that we need to be happy all the time. As a mental health counselor, I believe that all of our emotions are valid and important and that there's purpose behind why God has given us those emotions. So just like that Ecclesiastes verse said, there's a time to mourn, to be sad, to be angry, and a time to celebrate, a time to dance. Throughout this series, we're gonna look at how to do that, how to intentionally celebrate in our lives and different ways we can do that. We're also gonna talk about when to celebrate and where to celebrate. And so buckle up your seatbelt because this is gonna be an exciting one. Some discussion questions for you this week. One, what is the best celebration you've ever been a part of? Number two, why do you think we don't celebrate more often in our lives? And number three, what comes up in you when you think about the fact that we were actually called to celebrate? And my challenge for you this week, I want you to choose one thing to celebrate and go do it. Have fun with it. I don't care how big or how small that thing is that you're celebrating. Life can be hard sometimes. That's the reality of it. And I promise you, no matter how hard a day is, there is always something to celebrate.